Okay, my, my concern about uh, uh, today to, to speak about the first important trend, I think it's called Revive PCIS2, which is the pregnancy Relations for Ischemia, Electronica Dysfunctions. At the background of this trial, this um, STITCH trial, the old one, published 2011, that there is no difference in cabbage versus optimal medical treatment. There is no difference, but cabbage may be more than uh, the optimal medical treatment, but in the long run, for the 11 months, there is no difference except after the end of the 10 to 11 months. So what, are, what the guidelines say for the PCI for ischemic cardiomyopathy, if it's the background, yes, European Society of Cardiology, coronary bypass grafting, cabbage is recommended the first revask strategy in patients with multi-basal disease acceptable surgical risk. However, in, in the American College of Cardiology, this class one, uh, the green, but it's yellow class two, uh, for American College revask with cabbage is sometimes recommended in patients with ejection fracture less than 35% without significant uh, left ventricular uh, dysfunction, class two BB. Regarding the PCA, PCA, AC, uh, ACC, there is insufficient data to make a recommendation. However, a class 2E in uh, the European PCI should be considered in one vessel or two vessel disease when complete revask can be achieved or with three vessel disease based on. This is 2021. So what's the background? The revived revascularizations, REV, ischemic madrigal dysfunction, King uh, College, Coil London, National Institute, and so on. The hypothesis revised to PCI improved event-free survival in patients with severe left ventricular dysfunction compared to optimal medical therapy. Inclusion criteria, ejection fraction of 35. Extensive chronic disease called PCIS jeopardy score more than six. Viability more than four myocardial segments can be revascular by PCI. Exclusion, acute myocardial infarction later than four weeks previously. Acute decompensated heart failure or sustained arrhythmias. The viability uh, can CMR or the, uh, the, the beginning stress echo spectre PT, feasible more than four uh, uh, dysfunction, randomized to PCI or optimal medical treatment, then follow up echo at six, 12 months, clinical ICD biochemical follow up at six, 12, and 24 months, PCI versus medical treatment. The primary outcome, all cause deaths or hospitalization for heart failure at least 24 months, sample size, 700 patients. Major secondary outcome at 6 12 months is the pre ejection fraction by echo. Then quality of life very important, 6 12 24 months is by Kansas City cardiomyopathy, then other secondary outcome. 40 UK centers, 700 patients, 7 years follow up, then ending March 2022. And this randomization, 50 50 patients. There's no difference in age and sex on diabetes, 40%, ejection fraction, 27. Uh, chronic disease, uh, three left main in 14%, three vessel in 38%, mainly cardiac MRI, 71%. Primary outcomes, PCI equal, there's no difference between PCI and optimal medical treatments. Major secondary outcome, actually, for the quality of life improved with the PCI and the six months, 12 months, then declining with, with the medical treatments up to 24 months. Regarding the ejection fraction, Actually, there's improvement to the optimal treatments, but finally, at the end, there is no different ejection fraction. No subgroup for the clear benefit from PCI. High event rate deaths or hospitalization for heart failure uh, is 37 and 80, 38% two years. Quality of life improved with PCI. Left ventricular improvement early with PCI. PCI complete 71% and no viability confirmation. So the conclusion that patients with ischemic cardiomyopathy may continue to have high rate of mortality and hospitalization for heart failure, even with contemporary medical and device therapy, PCI did not reduce the composite instance of all-cause deaths or hospitalization for heart failure at median of 3.4 years. PCI did not incrementally improve left ventricular ejection fraction or provide a sustained difference in quality of life. I'm Harriet, Harriet Bainswell, Associate, Associate Professor, Professor of Medicine, Medicine and Cardiologist, Cardiologist from McMaster, McMaster University in Canada, and I'm delighted to have with me Professor Devaka Ferreira from King's College, London. Uh, he's the principal investigator of the revived thesis trial, and we are here at ESC 2022, 
uh, to discuss his hotline presentation. Welcome. Harriet, thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be able to share the results with you and to perhaps discuss it in a bit more detail. So Revived Thesis 2 was the first randomized controlled trial of percutaneous coronary intervention versus optimal medical therapy for patients with severe ischemic left ventricular dysfunction. Now in the trial, we defined ischemic left ventricular dysfunction as those patients who firstly had very severe left ventricular impairment, an injection fraction less than 35%, extensive coronary disease, which we quantified using the British Cardiovascular Intervention Society Jeopardy score. That's a score which has a maximum value of 12, which means that, that all myocardial territories are supplied by, by diseased coronary arteries, and the minimum score needed to get in the trial was six. Uh, and also, the third criterion, which was that we, there needed to be demonstrable viability in the territories that were being revascularized. So at least four segments that you were planning to revascularize had to be dysfunctional at rest and then shown to be viable on cardiac MRI, SPECT, PET, or, or, or other modalities. Why did you choose to include viability as an eligibility criteria? One would tend to guess it would favor intervention, but on the background of the STITCH trial, sure. that did not demonstrate an association between viability and outcomes, why did you choose to retain it? Well, as you said, we'd expect viability, or inclusion of a viability criterion to favor intervention. And that's really how the entire trial was designed. If there was a benefit of PCI at all, it would be in this group. And we wanted to, to focus the trial on this group. And if, conversely, if we didn't show it in this group, it's highly it's unlikely that there was going to be a benefit. benefit. Now, now, we probably, probably don't, don't have, have time, time to talk about, about the differences, differences in uh, which viability was used and assessed in STITCH and in REVIVE, but very briefly, in the viability sub-study of STITCH, it was used as a yes-no, a binary yes, the, the heart or the patient has sufficient viable mind. Okay, for the discussion, PCI is commonly increasing performance patients' chemical cardiomyopathy. No prior randomized study PCI against incompatible. STITCH, the same. How are the study conducted? We said this before. What have we learned? It did, that PCR is optimal medical treatment compared to optimal medical did not use composite deaths. Even the second endpoint did not improve ejection fraction. Should we be surprised? Should the impact medical therapy works? Ischemic cardiomyopathy patient have un unacceptably high mortality. PCR did not lead to reductions. Current guidelines may be changed further in the my studies PCR and urgently needed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sufi.